camera died. Real simply, the camera died. Um, so, we're back. Sorry for that moment of inconvenience. I probably will just edit this out because I don't have forever. Um, so, like I was saying, my parts were rinky and I don't really know. I figured out a method for next time that I'm going to use. I am going to, instead of um, parting as I go, I'm going to start off um, by putting my hair in two strand twists all over, like chunky two strand twists. Not super chunky, but part size chunky. Um, and from those chunky twists. But I separate them and take them down, which is kind of what I did after a while with this. I'll be able to just cut out have my part perfectly assembled and ready to install the hair. Um, that's probably the greatest thing that I learned from, from this one. Even though I've been doing this for a while now, a minute. I, I don't know the best way. There's no way to um, kind of integrate the hair and make it look invisible, invisible, um, and because this really frustrates me, being able to see your hair through the yarn is the most frustrating thing I could ever imagine, um, and if I had the time to cover these braids up with more hair, I would, I have the yarn, but I don't have the the hours that it'll take. Um, I don't want to total the hours that it took to complete this hairstyle because it would just make me sad and kind of cry. But overall it takes seven minutes per braid or around seven to eight minutes per braid. Um, and that's all the way beyond my hip. That's like butt to mid thigh length. Um, and next time I think I'll have to do them like somewhere to knee length in order to get that but to mid thigh range when I cut them all evenly. So this has been an experiment. Um, I really wanted to go with brown hair but I don't, I'm brown, I don't know how brown hair would look on me. Brown hair, brown skin, washed out is <laughs> what I'm kind of scared of but the next time I do yarn braids, I'm definitely going to do it with brown, and it'll probably be um, around my birthday time, or maybe spring break, so February or March is the next time I'll do yarn twist, and I'll leave these in um, until I leave school for Christmas break, which is around the 18th of December, so that's a good three weeks that I'll have these. Um, Depending on how they look, I might keep them another week, but probably not. If you have seen my videos, you know that I do not like leaving my hair up. I just, I don't like it. I like the versatility um, of natural hair, and so why not take advantage of that versatility by doing it all the time? But I don't have that time here, so yay, protective style. Um, I'll be back.